Arcane Austin, also known as the developers behind Redfall, have just added a 60 frames per second performance mode to Redfall, and the timing couldn't be better. Welcome everyone to another Sergeant Sentinel gaming video. I'm SSG, aka Sergeant Sentinel, and today we're discussing Redfall, more specifically the most recent update that came out. But before we continue, I want to say thanks if you're watching this video, I do greatly appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new content, whether it's live streams, game review videos, or gaming news. For those of you unfamiliar with the issue, I'll give you a brief rundown. Redfall launched earlier this year, just over five months ago, and at launch it did not provide Xbox Series gamers with a performance mode option there was only a simple option of 30 frames per second with graphical fidelity and while a lot of people were saying that 30 frames per second wasn't an issue i mean let's be serious it's 2023 and we're on the xbox series consoles which are supposed to be technically phenomenal and 30 frames per second would have been fine in 2012 but in 2023 it just wasn't, and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Now, that's not to say you can't do 30 frames per second in a 2023 game. Starfield does it, and to be honest, aside from a very small amount of instances that I've noticed in Starfield, 30 frames per second is pretty much locked, and it runs extremely smoothly. Now, in Redfall, it didn't, and a lot of people noticed the difference between other games that they had been playing prior to Redfall that were 60 frames per second and Redfall's purported 30 frames per second which again for me personally I did notice the difference I could see it right away and until I got used to Redfall's 30 frames per second it actually gave me a headache obviously I never had this problem with Starfield as like I said outside of a few instances Starfield ran 30 frames per second extremely smoothly and they did a phenomenal job despite using an over 20 year old gaming engine in the creation engine I know they said it's updated and all that stuff but it does have its issues but the frame rate wasn't necessarily one of them now do I expect 60 frames per second to come to Starfield despite blatant fanboys defending the 30 frames per second yeah i expect it to come at some point it's just they have to figure out how to do it now fortunately for us they did figure out how to do it with redfall and the difference between 30 frames per second when it first launched and the 60 frames per second performance mode now it is definitely noticeable now there are people that defended 30 frames per second and they said oh it doesn't really matter that much with redfall it did with starfield it doesn't as much because they did a great job with starfield and the creation engine 2 i guess is what they're calling it could handle 30 frames per second keeping the frame rate pretty stable unfortunately with the engine for redfall you noticed that it was at 30 frames per second significantly and that was unfortunate for the game because this game is truly a fun game it's a great experience so now with this 60 frames per second update hopefully it gets the attention and recognition it deserves especially from new gamers who might have skipped it because of the 30 frames per second issue so it's 60 frames per second it's just in time for halloween and if you ne have not played redfall yet now is the perfect time to do so Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Share it with someone else who may enjoy it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new content, whether it's live streams or new game review videos. This is SSG, aka Sergeant Sentinel. Take it easy, gamers.